Hi, I'm Judy, and I'm going to show you how to use a ditty tie. I'm going to talk to you about it first. Get it turned the right way here. This is a May tie made out of a wrap. Um, there is no padding. It has wide wrap style straps. At the bottom, I'm going to turn the wrong way, sorry. At the bottom here, you can see this string, and you can use this to cinch the bottom of the carrier. If you have a smaller baby, you can cinch it and tie a knot to make it smaller. As your baby grows, you can then open that up, and you can use this up through toddler age. Here on the back, there is a hood, a sleep hood that you can use once your baby falls asleep. You can lift the hood up to provide a little bit more support for their heads. A ditty tie is used a little bit differently than a traditional may tie. Traditionally, you would take the may tie and put it against your body like this and tie it, and then you would bring the body up this direction, and we would call that an apron style. Um, a ditty tie is used in a non-apron style. So you can see here, this little string, this is not going to be against your body. It's going to be away from your body. And if you look at the bottom of your ditty tie, you see there's a little curve here. That's called a peplum. You want that to be sticking out underneath your baby. So I'm going to tie this on with this not touching my body. And I'm just going to hold this up with my chin so you can see what it'll look like. So I'm going to bring these straps around here and tie a full knot in the back. So once I put the baby in, this is what it's going to look like. Make sure this is well adjusted. I actually want this up a little higher on my waist, so I'm going to move it up. And you want to make sure your carrier is as ready as possible before you get your baby because babies are not patient. Okay, I'm going to get my guest baby. This is Mila. Can you say hi to everybody, Mila? She is seven months old and she's looking at her mama like, who is this thing? You ready? Okay, so you put your baby here on the front, and then you grab the body, and you're just going to bring it up, up around the baby, and you want to bounce the baby down into the carrier, always keeping one hand on your baby. Now I'm going to take the strap, and I'm going to flip it over my shoulder. Switch hands, and I'm going to do the same thing here with the other side. Flip it over my shoulder. I'll turn around here so you can see I'm going to reach back behind me, and I'm going to reach underneath this strap and grab this other one. Grab the portion, the rail that is towards the center of my back, and I'm going to pull it across. And that's how I'm going to tighten it. Now I'll turn around this way so you can see how it tightens in the front. I reach across, grab the rail that's closest to the center of my back. Oh, that's the wrong one. to then just take the strap straight up to the side and tighten it. And I want to make sure the straps are spread nice over my shoulders, nicely over my shoulders. Now I have a few options here for tying. Because I have the wrap straps, I want to use these actually to my advantage to create more support. So I'm going to make sure that they don't get twisted. I'm going to keep them nice and spread out. I'm going to twist under her bottom, then bring it under her little legs and tie in the back. And always make sure to tie a full knot. Now what I want to do is I'm going to find this inside cross, and I'm just going to spread the fabric out over her bottom. Same thing here. I'm going to spread the fabric out. And then doing this provides me more support. So here you can see her bottom is lower than her knees, and the fabric of the may tie is spread from one knee to the other. She's at a good height. I can kiss the top of her head, and she's nice and secure. I have the straps spread out across my back for maximal comfort. And there you have a front carry with a ditty tie. Thank you.